Did you just get the opportunity of a lifetime and get booked for a professional photo shoot? Are you confused about the list of wardrobe that your director gave you and you're not sure what you should bring? Well, never fear. Hi guys, my name is Lindsay and today I'm gonna show you what I bring to each and every photo shoot. Let's go. Are y'all ready for this? <laughs> Lindsay and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how I pack for a modeling shoot. Now when I first started doing like shoots and everything, I would get a suitcase, throw a bunch of random stuff in there and just like hope for the best. But I realized over time that that is not the best way to do things. Either you are bringing the wrong stuff or you're not bringing what you need and it just creates a lot of stress. So if you create a system and follow it where you know, okay, in my carry on in my suitcase, I know this is what I'm gonna have to bring, this is what it is, you're gonna save yourself a lot of time and energy and stress levels if you just have your system. So for today's shoot that we packed for, oh, let me grab it. <laughs> ah, it is for a boudoir shoot. It is a lingerie shoot. So you're gonna be thinking, why are you struggling carrying the suitcase if it's just a bunch of panties and a bunch of lingerie? Well, buddy, we don't just bring the wardrobe. We have to bring a few other things. And we're gonna go through and I'm gonna explain why it's essential and why I started bringing it. All right, now let's see what I have inside. Whee! So the first thing that we have is the two compartments. So I have my clothing in this side and it's all the little clothing bags and then inside we'll get into this this is where like this is where the life hacks are at these are the things that you forget that you didn't know you needed but as far as the clothes go it's pretty straightforward so if you're doing a professional shoot they're either going to provide the wardrobe for you or they're going to give you a list of things that like colors and styles that you should bring i highly recommend no matter what it says like if they say wardrobes provided get bring your own things just in case because you don't know if you're shooting with somebody else maybe like your outfit looks better on them now you're out of an outfit or maybe the clothes that they got for you don't really work right so it's really essential to make sure that you come prepared and if you're a new girl or a new man who's entering that industry it's going to really like level you up if you go into like your first shoot, second shoot with like your own wardrobe, your own supplies. Not necessarily that's something you're expected to know to do, but it's just gonna raise that caliber. They're gonna know that you're taking it seriously. So that's why it's important to bring your own wardrobe. So, so I got these wonderful like wardrobe clothing baggies for luggage that really just organize everything. So I have all like my tops in here, and then I have my bottoms in here for the shoot, right? So that's just for the shoot. Now, I also bring every single time, because I'm a cozy girl. I like being comfy, I like being cozy. I also bring things that after the shoot, I can wear that are so like super like comfy and comfortable and really like help me relax. So I also am bringing like, nice little like t-shirts and sweatpants. I bring regular sweatpants and then I also bring sweatpants shorts just in case it gets hot, you never know. So that's as far as clothing goes. I also always bring some form of dry shampoo because the lights get hot and sweaty and can make your hair look super oily. So it's just bring your own dry shampoo. Again, this is something that most of the time if you're on a professional set, they're going to have a hair makeup artist there. However, they're gonna come across that there are gonna be times whenever your hair and makeup artists are at a different location. So you start off with a hair and makeup artist at one like set or one house. And then when you go to the actual photo shoot or the video shoot, the hair and makeup artists aren't there anymore. So that's why it's important to bring your own like touch up supplies. I also have like this little tiny baggie in here I have chargers because it's always a longer day than you expect it to be. I have a clip just in case I need to put my hair up. 
you just you want to always think about it as like the essentials and it's gonna look like I'm bringing a lot of stuff but this is all packing into a really small carry-on now this is the side that I'm most proud about this is my like tips and tricks for sure for real so in this little side of the luggage container is where I keep my hot girl maintenance supplies so I call them because everyone's beautiful everybody's hot but sometimes we have to maintain it throughout the day a little bit of touch up so I always bring with me again just in case our makeup artists aren't on location a makeup set now this isn't a full range of makeup but it's going to be like the essentials so it's going to be like you know your concealer bronzer a little bit of brushes a sponge just in case you just need to kind of like you know fix the blending and everything and since you're going to be maybe doing your makeup in a location that's outside or wherever it's also really important to bring a mirror um the sticker is still on this side because i don't think it's necessary to see your face 10 times like closer than you need to so I don't even use this side, but this is awesome. This is also something I got from like Ross or whatever, but you can just kind of like, it sits up. It's really comfy to hold. It saved my life on many occasions. Powder, just in case we get a little oily again. And then I also have a hairbrush, just in case we need to fix the hair up a little bit. next thing I bring is this may just be a me thing um, I haven't I'm sure other people do this too but I don't run into it very often I bring my full skincare routine I don't care what anybody says but um, I have like I want to have good skin and it takes a lot of work so I bring the whole like seven step skincare routine just in case I have time or like Let's say I was carpooling with somebody to the shoot and they're still finishing up and I'm done. I can go ahead and fix everything. So I have like, you know, face wash, some eye patches just in case, serums, more dry shampoos in here too, hair oil just in case, and also toothbrush and toothpaste because nobody likes stanky breath. The next thing, I think shoes. So again, this is another wardrobe thing, but shoes, especially heels, are all going to fit a little bit differently. So just in case, I like to bring a pair of two basic heels, so a pair of black heels and a pair of nude heels. If I need them, just in case, they go with everything, and that way that I can make sure that I get like the best pictures I possibly can get. It's all about setting yourself up for success, right? And the last thing that I have with me is a first aid kit because um, I get hurt. Um, I'm kind of klutzy, so I have to make sure that I'm protected. So I always bring a first aid kit. And then here's something else I like to do. This is something my mom used to do all the time. I take those dryer sheets, the ones that, you know, smell really good, and I always put them like in each like compartment. So that way everything smells fresh, just in case you have throw dirty clothes in there, or the shoes kind of make things smell a little bit weird. I like to make sure that we're not gonna have a, any kind of stinking problem on set. And that's what I bring to a photo shoot. So I'm prepared and ready to take the best pictures possible and be the best I can be. I hope you guys learned something from this video and take some of these tips and tricks about you know, we wanna make sure that we have our clothes organized. We wanna make sure that we are set up for success with comfy clothes, with dry shampoo. Stuff that you like sometimes can forget. It's really important to make sure that you're ready and prepared to have a successful photo shoot. Hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful life and I will see you soon. Bye. Y'all ready for this?